Hello, my name is Kelly Meeker and I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the University of Limerick in Ireland. Thank you for taking the time to check out my poster. I've actually given different versions of this paper a couple of times in the last few years, but the full paper has now been published in Perspectives in Psych Science, um, and hopefully this is the, the final version of the paper, so to speak. In the paper, we present a novel theory of moral judgment as categorization, or MJAC for short. The idea behind MJAC is that when we make a moral judgment, the cognitive processes involved are the same as those involved in categorization more generally. We draw on the cognitive psychology of concepts and categories, particularly the work of Lawrence Barcelor, and we assume that categorization is dynamical, context dependent, um, and always occurs as a, as a function of current goal directed activity. In this view, um, stability in categorization emerges as a consequence of skill formation in the making of relevant categories. That is, the more we make particular categorizations or the more we make particular moral judgments, the better we become at these categorizations and the more skilled, automatic and intuitive they become. This skill formation approach maps nicely onto existing dual process approaches. So you can see in the yellow box, I've identified, I've highlighted the um, system one type uh, processes in red and system two type processes in blue and I've positioned these at either end of a continuum of skill and as people get more skilled the uh, at these categorizations become more intuitive and more automatic. This can incorporate um, existing contextual influences um, for example um, the personal impersonal distinction or the action outcome distinction which map onto model based and model free processes um, or um, sort of intuitive or more deliberative processes in the literature. Um, but if we look at the other um, sort of items in the green box, uh, MJAC then offers a sort of greater, um, um, greater possibility to explain a greater range of context influences that aren't well accommodated within existing dual process um, approaches. Um, moving then to the far right panel, um, the, the top table um, uh, sort of identifies uh, so some of the evidence that supports um, the, the idea that moral judgments and categorizations are grounded in the same cognitive processes. Um, so in this table, I've listed a, a range of um, sort of parallels between the two literatures. Um, if you check out the OSF page, you can see sort of the full citations for the, these different phenomena. Um, but here I've just sort of identified the specific phenomena that are present in both categorization and moral judgment that suggests that the cognitive processes are possibly the same cognitive process involved. The next table down, I've identified key assumptions that distinguish MJAC from existing approaches. Um, so for example, uh, we don't make any assumptions about the content of moral judgments or specific principles involved um, because we assume that moral judgments are uh, dynamical and context dependent. This always also means that we reject the idea of a moral essence, for example. On the right-hand side of that table, I've identified a couple of um, sort of key phenomena where MJAC offers alternative explanations uh, to those extant in the literature. And then below that table, I've listed a few sort of novel predictions um, that are derived directly from this categorization approach. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me um, or check, check out the paper yourselves. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening.